Actually, when the burn is over, I bet you I can EVA. And have time. I just have to get the EVA report there. I don't have to do anything else. Yeah, I think this the, the antenna is physics enabled when it's extended because we are really, we're off center. It keeps pulling and I'm sure it's the antenna that's doing it. And I'm going to call that good enough. EVA. Get the EVA report. Nice. Capture that. And I guess we don't have any more work to do, although I should check to see if it needs to be adjusted or anything. Restore. Oh, we never did the goo. You can do the goo outside the ship, though, which is kind of nice. Observe the goo. Keep. Uh, oh, and then I can't reset until it's been transmitted, actually. Uh, well, I could take, actually. Oh, ow, oh, ow, ow. Collect the data. Restore. There we go. Um, this angle is kind of crap. Keep seeing the board button, but not fast enough to respond. Okay, board, excellent. Uh, review, transmit, transmit. Okay. Low Ike has been transmitted, and we are due to be. We're we're in Dunian orbit. There's tons of fuel left. Ridiculous amounts. We could do like a giant plane change if I was concerned about facing the right way. Whoo! Don't blow Bob up. Kerbals have rocket fuel for blood. Explains so much. All right, let's leave Ike. Okay. So now we have to decide exactly how we're going to deal with the rest of our flight. Do I want to just burn retrograde at the apoapsis and bring down our periapsis so that it's within the, the Dunian atmosphere? So that we get arrow breaking effects and whatever. It's still pretty thin. So I don't know how low we're going to go. Probably a lot lower than on Kerbal. Probably aim for something like 10k or something like that. Science at high orbit. We have done science um, in high space. Because when we entered the system. Right? I mean, I guess I could squeeze out a little bit more as it turns out. And I may as well since I can reset all of these. We may as well get fractionally more science. The crew report is 100%, though. Um, and I think the EVA is as well. Yeah, the EVA is also 100%. Nope, closer. I could go and just do one orbit as is, so we could get all our low science and not worry too much about it. Also, since I have so much delta V, I mean, we could just enter a lower orbit, which means a lot less orbital speed, which means we have to burn off a lot less in the atmosphere, which seems like a good way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get close to the apoapsis. I'll burn retrograde. When does the Dunian atmosphere start? Um, KSP Duna. How high does it extend? So I don't want to accidentally clip into it, although it would be so thin it would hardly matter that much. Atmospheric height, 50 kilometers, 50,000 meters. So as long as I don't burn retrograde any lower than that, that's going to be fine. Our turning rate is still, like, abysmal. Because we still have way too much just junk in our trunk here. We're nearly done with this stage. It's ridiculous how much fuel we got. We could have taken this exact design... So much further. We could go and visit, like, you know, the equivalent of Jupiter. Whatever is that? Is that Joel? Something like that. So, just burn very slowly. I'm going to bring it down to just above 50. There we go. I mean, we were already going to get low, but that's going to be okay. Um, and we are going to warp to here. And we are orbiting backwards. We're orbiting clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise. Which is backwards of what you normally want to do. Click on the planet, look at the info. Can we do that? 
Not not from Oh, there it is. Fifty thousand Oh look at that! I know you could actually click on the planet and get the info from it there. That is super handy. Sweet, thanks. Um Part of me, since we have all this Delta V, does make me wish that we had brought a removable core. Since we have so much Delta V, we could have brought something a little heavier and we would have been able to insert something into an orbit. We could have left a little satellite in orbit around Duna here. But I had no idea we were over over designing this so much. But you know, better to over design than than the other way. So we're gonna go ourselves into low or near space. We'll run all our science again. I'll bring the apoapsis down as low as possible. And then we'll look into entering the atmosphere. Let's warp a little closer. I mean, I must be in low space now anyway. Guess we could check. Um, ba -da -da -da. Crew report. Near space. Excellent. Bam. Temperature. Transmit. Transmit. Thank you. Material bay. Transmit. Goo. Transmit that. I think I did the temperature. Yeah, although we could send it again. Um, and then the bar barometer send. And I think, again, we can send this twice. Squeeze out the last little bit of science. Uh, I did the crew report. Yep. So now we need to EVA. Grab the EVA report. Scooch up here. Restore the science junior. Let go. Should have moved the goo a little closer. It would have been a lot handier if I could have done it in one go, actually. If I put the goo right down there. And, oops. And then transmit the EVA information. More World Force milestones. Actually, we're going to take a... Uh, no, I better do my retrograde burn here. Physics warp, so that I can turn around a lot faster. Well, I mean, in, in my time. real The game time is running twice as fast. So I'm not gaining an advantage here or anything like that. And freeze that, and cancel. Okay, and burn retrograde. I mean, we're not quite at the periapsis, but... Although it does drop the parry a little bit. As long as it doesn't drop below 50, we're going to be fine. And then what I want is a mission. Okay, stop there. What we're going to do is we're going to quick save. Actually, this seems like a good place to put in another proper hard save here in case something really weird happens. Um... Oh, because I'm accelerating, because I was still turning. How, wait, how come I can't go to the KSC? Why was the little flyer not coming out? That's weird. Anyway, I just wanted to check if it was giving me complete the Moon 3 course. What? Oh, one mission, fly by... Wait. A flyby of Moon, Duna, and Minmus with a single vessel. What? That's cool. Plant a flag on... I oh, my God, I could have done that. I'm going to take these missions because they're cool. Science data from space around Duna. How many times did they just do that? Orbital station? That's a little bit far for now, but we could do that again. Um, that's not going to happen. Okay, you want space, you want science from space around Duna. I can do that now. Oh, we could have done the uh, the moon min miss Duna flyby before. Where's my ship? That's all my random debris. Where's my ship?
right, there's something... There's something that it's not happy about. That's why I can't... I, I didn't do anything. The ship's gone again. Hang on. Let me reload. I'm, I'm going to load that quick save and literally not do anything. But there's a reason it's not giving me the flyer for the... the, uh, the tr oh, now it's there. Now it's not. I mean, we're not in the atmosphere. And even if we were, like, who cares? So I must be a little bit in the atmosphere. The atmosphere starts at 50k. We're at 55. But I agree. That was my assumption. You know, or that at our low point, but our low point's only at 53. Letting me time warp. Let's wait until we're at our high point. And we've got that other hard quick save, which is apparently important. This is the pre-release build. Stranger things have happened. Hello, son. Nice thing, because Duna is in a higher orbit than Kerbin, it's pretty much guaranteed that if we have, if we're on the sun side, then Kerbin is near us. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to burn a little prograde, raise our orbit up on the other side. I'm wondering if it's because, even though we're not in the atmosphere, if it's because the low side is under 70,000, that it's not letting us um, switch over. So I'm going to burn on the other side, raise the periapsis above 70, and see if that makes everything happy again. Uh, where's my prograde marker? Up here. Kill that. A little time warp to kill the acceleration. Actually, before I do that, yeah, okay, so it's not there. So I'm going to raise the parry to above 70. No! It's still not happy! No, I didn't deactivate the ship and the filters, because we're already here. And, like, that... Weirdness. We might have to just go back to quick save 4. I don't know, fuck it. Let's go in for our landing. Oh, no, I want to transmit data from here. We're here, we're fine, everything's okay. And again, if I go to, say, the Space Center at this point, I think it just kills our flight. I mean, I could raise both sides again, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it's still there. All right. It's still there, you guys. So now I can go and get science from space around Duna. Cancel that mission because I don't like it. Plant a flag on Ike, maybe. Um, the Moon 3 course, that sounds like fun for later on. Rescue from orbit of the sun. No, you're going to stay there forever. Science data from space around Ike. Yeah, now you have it. And we have too many missions. Um, okay, it's still there. Actually, before I switch over to it, I'm going to do one more save. But you know what? We were having the problem with the, um, the orbital lines not showing up before, too. So there's clearly... A little bit of wonkiness in this preview build. Um, but that's why they're preview builds. Okay, you're still alive. Excellent. We still don't have that button. We have no signal right now. Limited crew control? Oh, well, we don't have SAS. That's true. We've got the sun, but we've got no line of sight with um, 
with Kerbin right now, but that's okay. As we come around over here, there we go, now we have a signal. So now I can transmit anything, even if it's worth zero science, to complete that contract. Uh, so we're going to take another temperature rating, transmit it, and complete that contract for Buku Space Bucks. We also have a crap ton of science. Okay. All right. We're dropping that off. Now we can turn slightly easier than before. And we're going to come in for a landing. But I want to come in, I want to make sure we land... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, because we're going to orbit, or we're going to, this planet rotates. It literally doesn't matter where we land. We will have sunshine slash connection to Duna, to, to Kerbin, some of the time. So, I'm going to turn, yeah, retrograde, wherever the frack that is. Oh, there, down here. And, whoa. SAS is on. And I'm just going to burn retrograde. And drop a periapsis. So, you know, we're not at literally the optimal place, but the periapsis will end up being there. Just going to drop it so that it's somewhere. And I'm going to aim for, like... Something like 10k. I figure that's where it's probably going to get soupy enough. And then, we have this entire fuel tank. This entire fuel tank. Which we've used for basically nothing. This maneuver I just did, I could have done with the fuel. We literally carried an entire fuel tank up here for no good goddamn reason whatsoever. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go and retract the antenna for now as we re-enter. I'm going to keep this going. Yeah, antenna, thank you very much, people. I'm happy you guys are watching out for me, but I did get it this time. We're going to keep this here for now until some re-entry heat gets a little too much. And we will use it to help us slow ourselves down surface wise so at some point here we will enter the atmosphere although our steering still sucks so we would probably want to make sure to keep ourselves pointed a little bit more butt end first there we go, just a little bit more 70 60 50 there we go in hindsight yes it does it is turning a lot better now than it was before but it might have still been nice to add in an extra little reaction wheel over here and 50 we've now entered the atmosphere I still have the whole engine here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to burn retrograde on our way in just to kill off a little bit more speed. I don't want to come in too steeply, but I'm going to do that. And at some point, well, now I'm a little worried that it might get stuck on. Yeah, I don't want that. You know what? Never mind. Go away. Whee! Now I can really turn. It'd be nice to lock myself retrograde, but... Bob's not smart enough to do that, neither is our technology. Now, we can get some information from the upper atmosphere here. So we're going to log this. Um, oh, I could probably still transmit. Hold on. No, go. Fuck off! You. Um, extend antenna. Transmit that. Try it again. Review. Transmit. Uh, we need to make sure our power doesn't go away. We have passive solar panels, though, that are getting some job done. We're going to transmit... You? Yeah, yeah, good. Um, so we won't do lower atmosphere, probably. Although, I could sneak in a little EVA here. Oh god, that's risky. A little EVA just to get the experiment information. While the atmosphere is still thick or thin, we're basically still in space. EVA report, grab. You can see it's trying to shift me a little bit. Um, am I going to risk this? Restore. Okay, we're not going to restore the goo. Um, you can't do that. Did we do the thermometer? Transmit. Crew report. Transmit. Okay, I think that's all of it. Um, I mean, I could. I guess I could do the EVA at the same time, since our power is good. Okay, now, retract the antenna. Before we get thicker. Okay. So we didn't get upper atmosphere goo. Uh, no, that's not true, we did. We're not going to get lower atmosphere goo. Because it has already been used and we're not resetting it. Bob with the big brass balls. <laughs> Alright. 30,000 meters. G-force is still basically non-existent. Which means we're not actually getting any, um, any atmosphere whatever stuff's going on. The sun is directly up. So our little passive solar panel. Where did we stick that? Oh, up here. 
Yeah, facing up. So they might not get that much passive, but right now our electric charge is yeah, okay-ish. It is going down a little, but that's okay. We've got lots. <sighs> Stress. I have no idea if we have enough parachutes. Probably we don't. Probably Bob is going to leave a crater here. I have no idea how many parachutes we need in the thin Martian atmosphere to do this. Normally, you actually keep a couple of little um, retro rockets to do a last-minute slowdown, which we didn't do. Um, oh, there we go. Keep both the lights on. Thank you very much. Who is that? It's Codemore. Codemore coming in with a big tip. Oh, also, I uh, I missed a couple. My bad. We're clearly very busy in here. Let me go back to Goatfur. Thank you very much. Goatfur says, thanks for your great work, Quill. I want to recommend a game called Subnautica. Yeah, I know. Ocean-based survival game that's still under work. And as far as I understand it, it also works with the Oculus Rift, which I have. Um, a Kiss for Luck has it. Hasn't played it yet, but we're going to give that a try for sure. The new King of Iceland says... Why are you such a beautiful human being? Well, you're the beautiful one, King of Iceland. Thank you very much. Apina PH says, This is a bribe for you to crush Argentina in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I'm going to move to Montreal next year. Hope I can bump, bump into you with one game convention. Cheers from Rio de Janeiro. Thank you very much, Apina. Uh, you'll have to keep watching. It's all already been recorded, and I don't want to spoil anything. Codemore, with a big tip at the end there, says, Love your videos. Pretty sure I watch them more than my cable subscription. Aw, thanks, Codemore. Yeah, I, I definitely go through a lot of phases of that on YouTube. I mean, I don't watch cable much. No, that's not my solar panel. That's a solar panel on the other bit. Oh, look at Ike's uh, setting. That's a solar panel on the other bit. Oh, time to deploy our... Ah, uh, fuck. I gotta adjust that. Right. Min pressure. Well, it already is basically zero. So I could, we're at the safe speed to deploy the radial mounted thing, but there's not enough pressure for them to actually do anything. And I changed the min pressure for my radial mounted ones here, at least a couple of them. Um, and actually, maybe the uh, the full deployment altitude as well, because we, these can be tweaked a fair bit. And should be. I mean, there's still basically no air pressure. These parachutes will basically do nothing. Um, and over here, yeah, we want full deployment quite early. Well, maybe not all of them. Well, it's safe to deploy now, so go ahead and do that. Well, I'll do oh, another tip! So, is there any hope whatsoever that these parachutes are going to slow us down enough to not die? I'm not sure. Again, normally you'd actually want to include a few retro rockets for the last minute. No, we're already going 10 meters per second, and we're not even close to the surface. Yes! 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 Because my landing gear can do 14 meters per second. We're already going slow enough. We're going to do it! Bob's going to live! We'll have to do some low-altitude science. Timmy, thank you very much for the tip. Just stopping by to say hi. Well, what a great time for you to do that in our moment of triumph. Ah, oh, so exciting. Okay, uh, I assume we are in low. Um, yeah. We're just going to grab this. We're not going to transmit because I don't want to deploy my antenna. Was that the crew report? That was a crew report, yes. Um, we are going to materials bay. Boom. Keep. Uh, goo, we can't. Uh, seismic, we can't until we're actually landed. Temperature, log, grab. Barometric pressure, grab. Do we EVA? <laughs> we're thinking we're going slow enough. I think we can get an EVA report. This is super risky. Let's do it. Ah, why did you move my camera over to the other side? Are you trying to get him killed, game? Woohoo! <laughs> it's great. So again, we're not going to get the goo in low Martian atmosphere, but other than that, we're okay. If I turn off the SAS, I mean, we're stable. We're good. We're good, you guys. Let's take a look. Surface speed. Do we have a um, altitude radar? Right there. Okay, so we're still three kilometers above the surface. So we've got a long way to go before we land. Oh! <laughs> Holy 
shit. All right, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do a hard quick save here because we're gonna physics warp because we're impatient. This might shake the ship apart. No, we're good. We are good. Ah. <laughs> Dump heat shield speed up. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you could jettison it to get rid of the weight. I don't think we'd speed up, but it would get rid of the weight, which would mean an even gentler landing in the end. Right? I don't think we'd speed up. Let's find out. Yeah, no, it slows us down even more. Shit, I should have waited until we were closer to the surface, but we just dropped a lot of weight that we don't need, and as a result, we're going very slow. This would be gent... We heard the smash of it landing down there. I think that's our shadow. That little dot, unless there's something on my monitor. <sighs> Duna. And Bob's like starting to think at this point. It's like, I'm a scientist. I'm pretty smart. I just realized there's no, there's no engine on this. I don't think I'm ever coming home. <gasps> Poor Bob. It's okay, buddy. You just stay there a few years. Eventually, we'll do a rescue mission. I promise. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, this might be a good time for us to take another short break. It's going to take us another minute or so to descend. Um, but as far as I can tell, this should be 100% successful. I mean, we could calculate how much is left, which is based on altitude radar. Oh, no, we're coming in close. There we go. So we're, we're landing in the, the Midlands or something. Where's my shadow? There's my shadow. 